Welcome to 3D Experience. When you first log in, you may be inclined to view the platform as a web page. But spending time in it will reveal that it's much more akin to an operating system like Windows. Even the URL is more of an IP address than a standard web address. So in this video, I'll provide correlations between the Windows operating system and what I call the 3D Experience operating system. So let's get started. And what better place to start than the Start button? So in Windows, we have the Start button. And in the Start menu, we can navigate the apps on our machine. In 3D Experience, we go to the Compass, and we can see the apps that we have available to us. Look, we even have a calculator. Now, the apps available to you will depend on the roles that you have, but if you have SolidWorks with Cloud Services, then you'll have most of the apps that I have here. Now, roles can be thought of as suites of software, groups of related apps. Think of Microsoft Office. It comes with Excel, Word, PowerPoint, all intended to accomplish daily business tasks. Roles are meant to accomplish specific tasks as well. So for SolidWorks, that's going to include apps to store your files and manage their revisions. In Windows, we have a search bar. We have an account profile and we have a notification center. In 3D Experience, we have direct equivalence. We have a search bar, an account and notifications as well. Now the main area here is called the dashboard. And you can think of the dashboard like a desktop. So when we go to open up an app, it will open up directly over the dashboard. Now Windows, you can pin apps to the taskbar. And in 3D Experience, you can use tabs to accomplish the same thing. Now what's cool about tabs is that you can actually pin groups of related apps together. So that means you could access your files in the same place that you're managing their life cycle, for one example. In Windows, we can have multiple desktops. So take a look at the apps that I have open on my taskbar, and I'll go to task view and switch to a new desktop. You can see it's like resetting the taskbar. Great for creating a new workspace. In 3D Experience, you can have multiple dashboards. Now in Windows, I don't use multiple desktops very frequently. And in 3D Experience, you don't have to use multiple dashboards right away, but they're there for you when you're ready for that level of organization. The last thing to compare is how files are stored on the platform. And for that, we'll head over to the My Data tab, which has the two apps needed to store and organize your files. 3D Space and Bookmark Editor. You can think of 3D spaces like locations on a network set up for specific access permissions. A 3D space is entirely meant to define who can access the data within it. After a 3D space has been set up, the Bookmark Editor creates bookmarks on the 3D space, just like you would create folders in a network drive. So with all of this crossover between Windows and the platform, why was 3D Experience created? One word, collaboration. The apps within the platform synchronize with apps that connect to the platform, creating an environment that connects you with your coworkers naturally. So if you like this video, check out the others in the series and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at hawkridgesys.com.